up, YouTube fam? It's your boy, Jay Random. So you guys know how Google does those tribute pages from time to time. They profile an important person, event, or holiday, usually, something like that. I always love it when they do it, man. I think they should do it more often, personally. I always end up clicking on those things, learn a little something new. Well, yesterday, I saw that they had a new one up. So inevitably, I clicked on it and checked it out. Found it pretty interesting. Figure uh, if you guys don't want to read a bunch of text, I'd rather watch a condensed video, I got you guys covered. So Google's profile page yesterday was for a woman named Zaha Hadid, an Iraqi-born British architect. Dubbed the queen of the curb, the woman who reshaped modern architecture, and widely regarded as the greatest female architect of modern times. Now those are some pretty bold statements coming from her peers in the industry. But one look at her academic and work history, all the awards and accolades, and looking at all the amazing structures that she's designed over her career, she certainly backed every bit of it up. Hadid was born on October 31st, 1950, attending boarding schools in the UK and Switzerland throughout the 1960s. She would eventually go on to study mathematics at American University of Beirut until 1972 when she'd moved to London to study at the Architecture Association School of Architecture. One of her past professors would call Hadid one of the most outstanding pupils he's ever taught. He called her the inventor of the 89 degrees. Nothing was designed at 90 degrees and she had spectacular vision. Upon graduating in 1977, Hadid would go on to work with some of her former professors at the Metropolitan Office of Architecture in Rotterdam in the Netherlands. And three years later, in 1980, she would start her own firm, Zaha Hadid Architects, in the UK, once becoming a naturalized citizen there. Now mentioning just some of the top awards, Hadid received the Pritzker Prize in 2004, the first woman to do so. Consecutively, in years 2010 and 2011, she won the Sterling Prize, UK's most prestigious award for architecture. In 2012, she was made dame by Queen Elizabeth II, which is the equivalent of a male being knighted. And a few years later, in 2015, she became the first and only woman to receive the Royal Gold Medal from the Royal Institute of British Architects. Now, Deed certainly left her mark on the world with her amazing structures and buildings that she's designed. But she also gave back by teaching the new up-and-coming generation in her field. Initially teaching at the Architecture Association where she went to school, as well as teaching at the Harvard Graduate School of Design, Cambridge University, and Columbia University. Now, Hadid has designed so many notable structures, it's just impossible to go over her whole portfolio in this short video. But while I was doing my research, I picked out a handful of ones that really spoke to me and I thought were really cool. Fair warning, I'm sure I'll butcher all of these names. The Dong Dae Mun Design Plaza in Seoul, Korea. The London Aquatic Center, built for the 2012 Summer Olympics in London. The Guangzhou Opera House in China. The Sikh Zaid Bridge in Abu Dhabi. And the last building, being a huge car nerd, I actually knew about before. The Admin Building at the BMW factory in Leipzig, Germany. Well, that about wraps it up for this one, guys. Hope you enjoyed it. As always, please subscribe, share, and like. This is your boy, Jay Random, signing off. Until next time, guys. Peace.